Every night and every day now Never mean what they say now And never saying what they mean Hi everyone, my name is Mervyn Hager. I'm speaking against the backdrop of a gently receding tide on a bright sunny day. But I'm here to tell you about a story that involves dark clouds over Dallas, Texas in November 1963 when the assassination of John F. Kennedy took place. And I'm also here to tell you about a musical explosion that began in March 1964 with the arrival of Radio Caroline. And the connecting dots lead to a ship called Mi Amigo. in a way it came out of the, um, the the 60s rock and roll era because at the time I was uh, I was <clears throat> I was managing a number of bands and uh, there was a, a very big block against uh, independent record companies uh, there was only EMI and Deck at the time and a particular artist I had was Georgie Fame And having done that, I remember uh, taking the acetate long to BBC, who had, I think, an hour a week. Brian Matthews' Pop Parade was a pie presentation, and Pie Records invite you to join them at one o'clock for the Night Owl Show. Broadcasting on 208 metres, this is your Station of the Stars, Radio Luxembourg. And if you weren't with your mind deck here, you couldn't get on Luxembourg. And at that moment, I'd said to them, I'd said, well, look, all I wanted to do was to sort of break Georgie fame to get him off the ground. And I've had to record the guy, I've had to start a record label, and now it looks like we have to start a radio station. And it, it, and it literally, it literally was that kind of moment. You don't know who I am But I know all about you I've come to talk to you tonight About the things I've seen you do I've come to set the record straight I've come to shine the light on you I say you're nothing but a lie I'm the cold are true But you're nothing but a fool The way you try to play it cool I am a cold heart
Oh, I meant Ronan O'Rahilly at the beginning of last year, 1963. We've both given each other a great deal of advice. It could be that I took less of his than he of mine. It's smooth sailing with the highly successful sound of K-I-L-T Houston, the fun spot. On the B.I.G. Jim Ward Show, let's go for a taste of King Size Coke. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, things go better with Coca-Cola, things go better with Coke. Life is much more fun when you're refreshed. And Coke refreshes you best. 24 minutes past 7 on the Big Jim Ward Show. You know, I was down at the shore. Uh, like uh, last week and last Saturday, I snuck down to say hi to some of my friends down there. And, uh, boy, well, what a wild scene down there at the Galveston area on Stewart Beach. Uh, I was down to get a little fresh air and uh, swung down to the Galveston area. That was the sound of the beach, man, the Stewart Beach. Everybody, everywhere, the sound was so fantastic. What do you know? What do you see? Tell K-I-L-T. If you have some news, want to sound your views, tell K-I-L-T. There's your group, have a scoop, tell Kilt whatever you dare. What do you know? What do you see? We'll put it on the air. Want to know a secret? Do you promise not to tell? Whoa, 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 closer. Let me whisper in your ear. Listen. Do you want to know a secret? Do you promise not to tell? Whoa, whoa, whoa closer. Let me whisper in your ear. Faces, smiling faces sometimes They don't tell the truth Smiling faces, smiling faces Tell lies and I got proof find out when you start on an operation. The first, the first place I went to was Sweden, in fact. Uh, the first place I ever went to was Sweden. And you find out by going around various people who've been trying to do this. I mean, there have been a number of groups in England who've tried to put commercial radio into operation on this basis. Smiling faces sometimes pretend to be your friend. Smiling faces, smiling faces sometimes They don't tell the truth Smiling faces, 
smiling faces tell lies, and I got proof. Alan, because uh, one of the people who had been, uh, you know, you, you, you find out when you start on an operation. The first, the first place I went to was Sweden, in fact. Uh, the first place I ever went to was Sweden. Ronan was one of many people who used to visit my building and I was talking to many people by this time about uh, my idea for a radio on a ship because I was looking for backers and he was full of praise, he's always full of praise when he wants something and uh, he offered immediately to take me over to meet his father who was a rich man in uh, Ireland part of the plot which I didn't know when I first met him and met his father was that the father would get possession of the key to the whole thing which was a copy of the QC's opinion as to why it could be legal and we innocently I gave him a copy and he must have given it to Ronan who then was able to run around showing this to his backers oh yes I'm the great pretender myself up, dust myself off, and start all over again. That's enough. Up muddy creeks with a rolling tide, the free traders are coming. It all began with attacks on wool in long shot days of yore. And later on, backy wine and silk were hidden on hailing shore. Along with brandy, tea and silk, it pleased the ladies more. When moon was dark and the signs were left, young men will cast and sack it. To Rowland's castle where boarders met and constables were lacking To protect the cargo on its way, young men used their sucking Up muddy creeks with a rolling tide, the free traders are coming John Hedger was first customs man in 1671 To catch those smugglers at their game and spoil their free trade fun While the Navy came and Gladstone ruled to curb the free trade men but faster ships and stronger laws with smuggling days were gone. Up muddy creeks with a rolling tide, the free traders are coming. 